Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today we're going to be talking about Fur Harvesters Auctions March 24th to 28th sale and showing the results of that for all the pelts sold. First off, we're going to be going through the letter that Mark Downey actually wrote, the Chief Executive Officer of Fur Harvesters, and then I'll go into the pricing of everything. This is now our third year selling, utilizing our in-house developed online auction platform. Our desire to host a live auction was made impossible for several reasons. Much of China began locking down weeks before our sale and continues to be as China has a zero tolerance for the COVID virus. China expressed a strong desire to purchase for prior to our decision being made on which style of auction we would choose to conduct. A live auction would have taken much of the Chinese orders off of the table, so a call was made in February to go with our online auction platform. As well, COVID cases continue to rise again in parts of Europe, making many customers concerned over global travel. On February 24th, Russia invaded Ukraine, and this war rages on as I write this report. Having said this, it is important to know that both of these countries have been enormous supporters for many years, buying the top goods and a great many wild fur species. Ukraine now is in no position to purchase goods, and Russia is blocked with sanctions disallowing import of luxury goods from Canada. Over the last two months, Three major auctions have taken place on the other side of the globe, all online. The St. Petersburg Buckle Auction had a very good sable sale which concluded just prior to Russia invading Ukraine. The results of this auction have an impact on our sable sale. Having spoken to St. Petersburg the last day of this auction, I was told prices had advanced, but the largest increase was on the paler colors of which we have a good quantity of. Darker colors received the smallest interest. Copenhagen Fur Center's February 2022 auction ended with them selling 5% of their total offering, followed by Finland Saga Furs doing slightly better. On March 23rd, the day before our March auction began, KFC, which is Copenhagen Fur Center's, announced that they were canceling their April auction due to global issues mentioned earlier in this report. Our auction commenced on the following day as scheduled. On March 28th, our auction concluded with overall results. Despite all the uncertainty and turmoil, saw many articles sold with advancing levels and strong clearances on many important wild fur species. We all knew the coyote market was much softer compared to last year and our values were posted as we held them on the western section and sold them of today approximately 35%. Muskrats were the other item that were realized low clearance as we valued them at last year levels and held to it, but we intend to adjust downward slightly and our optimistic sales will follow in the coming days. Our sable auction witnessed increased prices and clearance of 90% overall with the paler colors seeing the greatest increase as was the case in the St. Petersburg auction prior. Our fur auction was very good, third section in smaller sizes, large, medium, small, selling for much more than our evaluations approximated, approximately 40% higher than last year. The big sizes and the better goods increased as well on the basis of the blankets 5 to $10 more and many grades over last year. In the end, Beaver realized a 90% clearance. Fisher levels continue to advance with clearances of 96%. We even had increased interest in raccoon with good prices on big sizes in the heavy sections like Canadians, United States. On the better luxury goods remaining unsold, we are holding the values as we have a June auction just around the corner and hope that the world situation will calm itself somewhat by this time. Our overall results of this auction in light of the negative influences facing the world have us looking very good and we are extremely pleased at the end result of this auction. At this moment, we have a lot of interest moving forward looking at our June auction for beaver, sable, cats, and fisher. So keep this in mind before meeting the ice cream truck to sell for cash. The demand for wild fur remains and our results during these troubled times proves this. To all those that support this facility, we thank you. As in such unprecedented times, loyalty and commitment is paramount, and we thank you all for this. Respectfully, Mark Downey, Chief Executive Officer of Fur Harvesters Auction Incorporated. Now let's get on to the pricing. 
Beaver with 53,000 being offered, 89% of them sold overall, and an average of $12.02, with a top being $62. Caster with Western Select was $120 per pound, grade number one was $110 per pound, grade number two was $100 per pound, and grade number three was $90 per pound. Mink, there was 6,300 being sold with a 43% of them being sold, a average of $8.14 with a top of $14.50. Sable, there were 27,000 being offered with 93% of them being sold. The average was $35.18 with a top being 70. Otters, there were 4,200 being offered with 64% of them being sold. The average was $19.71 and the top was $57 even. Fisher, there were 5,300 being offered and 96% of them being sold for an average of $28.29 and a top of $38. Lynx, there were 4,200 being offered and 40% of them being sold for an average of $67.82 and a top of $160. Lynx cats were 9,000 being offered and 95% being sold for an average of $62.53 and a top of $88. Muskrats, there were 117,000 being offered, but they were mainly unsold at this time. Red Fox, there were 9,000 being offered and 74% of them being sold for an average of $12.25 and a top of being $47. Cross Fox, there were 392 offered and 100% of them sold for an average of $43.47 and a top of $69.50. Gray Fox, there were 1,720 being offered and 24% of them sold for an average of $11.23 and a top being $16. White Foxes, there were 214 being offered and 100% of them were sold for an average of $57.19 and a top of $93 even. Silver Fox, 50 of them were offered and 100% being sold for an average of $52.14 and a top of $73 even. Coyotes, there were 45,000 being offered. Western Heavy sold at a rate of 32%, Eastern sold at 17%, and Central sold at 15%. Western Heavies averaged $50.33, with a top being $112. Easterns sold for $23.60 on average and a top being $79. Central sold for $17.07 on average and overall the top was $51. Raccoons, there were 23,000 being offered with Canadian selling at 22%, Eastern Heavy selling at 11%, Western Heavy selling at 30%, North Central selling at 18%, and Eastern United States selling at 5%. Canadian sold at $14.41 on average with the top being $35.50. Eastern Heavy sold on average for $8 and a top was $26. Western Heavy sold at $14.74 and the top was $31. North Central sold for $8.40 with the top being $21.50. Eastern United States for, sold for $3.89 and a top of $9. Ermine, there were 15,000 being offered and 86% of them sold for $1.19 on average with the top being $9.70. Squirrels, there were 3,900 being offered and 42% of them sold. On average, they got $1.31 and a top was $2.25. Skunks, there were 517 being offered with 100% of them being sold. On average, they sold for $18.35 and a top was $26 even. Badgers, there were 802 being offered with 74% of them being sold. On average, they sold for $16.03 with the top being $80 even. Possums, there were 8,400 being offered with 7% of them being sold. 
on average they got $1.74 and a max that they got was $5.10. Wolverines, there were 81 being offered with 100% of them being sold. On average, they got $353.93 with the top being $610 even. Timberwolves, there were 374 being offered with Arctics selling at 98%, Eastern selling at 97%, Western selling at 90%, and Black selling at 96%. Arctic's averaged $224.81 with the top being $455. Eastern's averaged $77.99 with the top being $315. Western sold at $170.06 with the top being $265. And Black sold at $382.81 with the top being $715. Black Bears, there were 337 being offered and 92% of them sold. On average, they got $135.70 with the top being $380. If you guys enjoy this type of content, let us know down below. Do you guys like to have the letter at the beginning to kind of get the breakdown or would you just like to go right into the sales results? Let us know down below. If you like to see more of this, hit that like and subscribe button so we know to get more for you guys. Thanks for watching.